Right, that's when I met a mad rush this morning. Um, someone's contacted me saying they're keen on the Integra and he's watched my videos and he's overlooked it a lot, looked into everything, and he's actually really, really keen to sit in the flesh. And that's hopefully puts down a deposit or maybe buys it today. But I've got to head down there quick. That's why I'm talking so fast. Um, so I've got to prep for USC today as well. Got everything ready to put in the back as well. So it's just it's gonna be a bit of a mad day. Let's go down. Hopefully the tags out, and then I'm not gonna tell you what I'm getting next, but we can sort of discuss it. So let's go, lads. Let's head down to Plymouth and see what happens. Oh, I'm taking the back roads, boys. It's a bit bumpy up here, I'll tell you that. Just gotta get there quick, though, because honestly, oh, I can't miss out on this opportunity right now. We have arrived. Ugh. Typical, but it's bloody windy, isn't it? Right, boys, so what I'm gonna do first, because um, I'm not an idiot and I'm actually a good seller, so I'm gonna check all the fluids on the car uh, oil, coolant, wash fluids, everything like that, um, just to make sure. Everything's working as it should be because, um, you know, you've got to make sure even before it goes on a test drive, the car's fine, run fine and stuff like that. So just don't be like, if you're selling a car, don't be like dishonest, just be honest because at the end of the day, something will come back and bite on your ass if you're not being honest. So I'm just going to quickly, um, yeah, check all the fluids and then I'll put it over there, give it a bit of a jet wash down and then all should be golden. Oh, she's all up and running. Cold starts literally just stop. So what I'm going to do, is um, head over to the wash bay quickly, give it a little jet wash down, nothing too major because the guy's literally like almost here, I got here pretty late, so we're just gonna go over there quickly, get it jet washed up. And then hopefully the guy doesn't mind being on camera, but we'll see you when, um, when he comes here. Nice little wash done to go. I just took her out for a little drive for about two minutes just because I just want to make sure. It's been sat for like two weeks, three weeks, about two weeks, yeah, it's been sat for two weeks. So I just want to make sure everything's working fine still and it is, so that's fun to feel. I don't know, I'm going to miss it if it goes today, but like, look how it is just a sexy looking thing, isn't it? Look at it. Oh. But hopefully, the, if the, this guy wants it and has it, hopefully he's a really good owner to the car, but. I'm not getting my hopes up yet. He's just coming to see. He's just rang me in to go. He went to the wrong place, poor lad. Um, he thought it was in Gunners Lake, but it's not. It's, um, it's here in Plymouth. So he'll be here soon, and uh, hopefully he has a big smile on his face when he comes to see it like I do. First time I've seen it as well. Let's <laughs> go down with it. First try, just stole it. <laughs> what a beast. It's not sold yet, lads. He's just going for a test drive, don't worry. <laughs> Well, it's a quick one. I don't think he's been taking it with him today because he's come down in a Scooby, which is right over there. So, um, but hopefully he likes the car, puts the deposit down or something. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. See what happens. Should be, I hope he enjoys it. Like, not, uh, it's one of those cars, you've you got to get in it. Like, it sells you just from getting in it. <laughs> right. So guys, the car is sold. The new owner standing right there. He's coming to collect it on a different day. I don't know if he wants to be on camera. Did you want to be on camera, mate? <laughs> this is a new owner anyway. What's your, I forgot your name again. Ryan, Ryan yes. This is a new, it's going to be a new owner. He's going to pick it up in a few days' time. He, fuck, he absolutely loves it, doesn't he? I do. That's a sick car. Um, he's got a Scooby around here. I'll show you a Scooby actually. It's quite cool. What part is your Scooby running? Uh, it's supposed to be 350. Yeah. But I don't have proof to prove it. Yeah. Unfortunately. But yeah. Super. I don't know much about Subarus, but I think the, the best thing about Subarus is the sound, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds good. A really distinct sound, isn't it? I like sound, yeah. yeah. Um, I just don't like the fact that when it turn kicks in, it's really... Really laggy, yeah. Whereas really on that, laggy. it comes in, doesn't it? Like, instant. Instant, yeah. That's it's a good thing about it. Yeah. Now, nah, fuck me. The calipers on this are huge as well, aren't they? Yeah. Massive, man. Yeah. Ryan's going to be buying the uh, Integra, so he's going to put a deposit down on it and then come and collect it in a few days. So that's the end of the DC5, lads. But I know Ryan will look after it. And I've told Ryan as well, if he wants to come down and get any bits done, I'll, I'll show him to Ben, that engine tuner, and Ben at our performance as well, if he ever wants bits done in the future. So I'm sure me and Ryan will keep in contact anyway. What about this? All right, so next thing's... No, not just... Not, what about next. one of these? Huh? What about all this to wade, wade through all the pussy that's going to be yours? No, George. I'm not doing that. Look, no, my brother's got loads of them. Let's go buy a tent, because we're going USC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a list on that one. <laughs> Mate, we're gonna have to need some of this. That'd be Lee's. Lee would have that one. 
He's, 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 he's too small. We'll <laughs> take it for Lee because of his small arms. <laughs> so all the tents down there are way out of our budget, but these ones over here are right. So, see, I get it. These little ones are worth way more than the one that's over there, that little. Yeah. Either way, we're all set. Aren't we, Luke? Let's go have some fun. Just got the tent. Brilliant. And guess what we went for? That one right there. <laughs> Something that fits in this little bag, George. Definitely, you know, you know when we come back, it's never going to fit in the bag the same way. Yeah, well, I'm a pro. <laughs> okay, boys, so we're prepped for USC. I'm having a good day. Look, we've got loads of camping stuff. We've got an absolutely huge tent as well. Everyone's going to know exactly where we are straight away. It's going to be ridiculous. But um, the tent, the tag sold. We've got all our gear. Everything's going really good at the minute. I think now I'm just going to get some food and then uh, I'll stop off and have a discussion about what I'm going to do next with the money now I've got from selling the car. So, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Hooky dokey lot. So I just made it back to George's. Uh, we've got this beautiful bright light here. I can talk to you about what's going on next. So what's happening before George Knight gets back in? Because he's editing the video which tells you about me selling a guy and I want to put it up first. So basically lads, it's sold. The guy's put the deposit money down. That's it. He's 100% keen. He was, he said to me he's going to take a few days to get the money, but he's been that keen. He's actually got the money like now straight away and he's, um, already giving me the deposit and he's paying me the rest tomorrow when it goes into his bank and he's collecting it tomorrow now because he says he wants to get on it just drive it around for the weekend which is understandable and I would do the same if it was a new car and I was like hyped about it so congrats to him um, like I said guys the first person that would come and see the car would buy it and that's exactly what happened he is the first person that came and seen it even he was shocked that nobody else has come and seen it yet he's loved the drive so yeah a massive congrats to Ryan I think it was Ryan apologies if I'm wrong but I think it was Ryan um, sound lad. So what's next? You're probably gonna be wondering now Like I said in the past I wanted to get a house um, And you know what I've come to the decision where I can actually do both now considering the money I've got from this car I can put the money towards the deposit of the house and um, So have like two three grand maybe a bit more left over for a car I can continue doing videos on now I'm gonna be going standard again Obviously because that's the reason why I sold the car and be doing my own build like I did with the Mini, and I just find it a lot easier because I'm personally gonna learn a lot more, you're gonna learn a lot more, and it's just gonna be a really good experience, and it, it just generates a lot more views and a lot more, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, you know, my, cha my channel just gets viewed a lot more because of the fact that I'm doing something that people wanna see now. Uh, I, I even I'll admit, my content has been boring, and you're all gonna admit that as well, so it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna bounce back and hopefully, to be honest, you know, I might just upgrade my equipment. I might come off from using a phone to edit and record and stuff like that. I might, you know, I'm at a point where I've got a bit of money now to decide. I can go get myself like a, like an iMac or a, um, like a, a laptop, Mac laptop or something and, um, and get like an actual DSLR camera with like a front facing camera. Not everyone uses like Canons now or something like that, but, uh, it's it'll be it's going to be different if I do change because obviously I'm so used to editing and recording my phone and that's one thing I just want to say if you do want to start doing YouTube go ahead like just grab your phone any iPhone or Samsung I'm sure if, if they've got a uh, editing software on it where you can edit your videos just start on it look at me I'm at almost 12,000 subscribers just from doing this um, and yes obviously I've got I've had like a few cars that are worth a couple grand and stuff like that that's obviously included in it, but if you've got something that you want to do, just grab out your phone, do it. That's what I recommend, really. And I get, keep getting asked, like, Luke, give me some pointers. And what I really say is just be yourself. They're going to come on YouTube to watch you because of how you are as a person on your videos and, like, um, what sort of content that you're putting out as well. So just be committed. That's another one, just be committed. But anyway, guys, new car, what am I going to be getting? Don't actually know. To be honest, I've been looking at a few and, um, I found one that I want, which is why I reduced the price of the car. Uh, I didn't even tell you how much I sold the car for. 10 grand. I went for 10 grand in the end um, because I found the car I want. But hopefully, I don't think the sale has fallen through. Um, I don't think the guy's sold it yet. Hopefully, anyway, I'm going to message him in a bit after this. If he has, obviously, then I'm going to have to move on and try and find a different car. But I believe I found the car I want. Um, if it has gone, like I said, I will wait around and find the perfect one because I'm not rushing this time, guys. But thank you for watching today's video. As always, if you've enjoyed the series with the DC5, it's been and gone now really fast, I know, but I had a good bit of fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, watching it as well. But um, I had a really good time with the car. Obviously, I had to get it all fixed up and done. But um, yeah, things are awesome at the minute. I'm really happy. 
Life's going well. I've um, actually had a bit of time off just to chill and not go crazy with YouTube and having to focus on like Instagram stuff. I've been able to chill and meet some friends and do some good stuff. But thanks for watching the video, guys, as always. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell button to notified every single time I upload. Smash the thumbs up button as well, guys. I appreciate it. And comment below if you want to, you know, discuss anything with me or what you think. Maybe, yeah, comment below what you think I should get next. Uh, my budget's about two to four grand, so comment down below what I think. But I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.